we're, we're gonna, just we're gonna put the, we're gonna take them off. We need to, we kind of we kind of need to cook it out of our pot. Okay, yeah, it's a little pot. There's one right there. For the barbecue. Take the camera out, put more of the brown sugar in, and then, you know what I mean? And cook it down. Yes. We just added a, a good spoonful of, of butter. Uh, we use, I can't believe it's not butter, because, you know, after, over time, that is pretty, we, we eat unhealthy already. So, uh, if, we, if we can skimp on anything, it'd probably be your butter. Uh, getting margarine and stuff like that can really hurt you over time. But if you if you bought that margarine, get that margarine. You know what I'm saying? So if you bought the margarine, get the margarine. Yeah, bought that margarine, man. Bought that margarine. First, we're gonna put some butter in the pot, let it melt down. Let me know when it's ready so I can get it get it going in here. That color's nice and starting okay, to turn. Okay, we're back. Bright red would be ketchup. Brandon, dark. make your own YouTube channel. I have my own YouTube channel. Go to. <laughs> That's what we're saying. Yeah. Go to uh, Cooking with Little Hands, and you will find us there. Maybe am I, am I, am I saying it right? So it's going to be Cooking with Little Hands. Little Hands is going to be in all caps, guys. So right now we got into a dark, nice, dark barbecue right now. That's looking beautiful. Uh, Russell's got it going behind me as soon as that butter starts to melt. We want to make sure you use enough brown sugar because really that is yeah, we got some in here. nice and sweet. It makes it nice. I used a lot of ketchup, guys, because I want to base. We want to base these ribs real good. Want to base them. Want to base them. Free base. Free base these ribs, boy. Now try when you do it. Try to do this on your on your grill. Try to do it on your grill, guys. But if you don't have a grill, ain't nobody hating on you. We're just. Oh, look at that color. Look at that color, guys. If you can see that color, it's nice and dark maroon. I I like personally making my own. Um, I like using oil because oil just oh, really somebody works. somebody donated ten bucks. Awesome, he can have it. <laughs> Who is that? What's your question? Thank you for donating. He's a fan. All right, so ask your question. We'll talk to you for the next five minutes. Uh, Two dollars. There's another question. Oh my God. I love you so much. Season nineteen. Wow, guys, start donating. What the <laughs> hell? Add some money to my account, <laughs> Russell. What's going on here? You gotta. Gotta put it down. Oh, baby, your phone just died and it was on live, and your dad just asked a question. Uh, you, we can we can put it up on the laptop and uh, let's charge that so that so it's that we okay, can share. It's okay, bro. You don't have to donate. If it if it died, do you think it deleted all that? No, no. Are you sure? No. It may have. I don't know. Oh, that sucks. No, it didn't. Did it? it Maybe we'll it see. May have. It may have, but that's okay, cause. We're good, we're good. We have this video. Oh yeah, it's that apple cider vinegar coming out of that thing. Hopefully not, so let's see if we can get to it and uh... Guys, before I eat anything that I cook, Alka-Seltzer. Commercial, commercial time. <laughs> Awesome, And then let's start having God is good. He was good anyway. Thanks, thanks for the ten dollar donation. It's gonna hey, help yeah. a lot. We're gonna ask answer some questions, especially for those of you who are donating unnecessarily. <laughs> Please ask some questions so we don't feel. That's some good rollers right there. Right? Uh, you can get in trouble even things. Okay. So it posted it, which is good. Let's get back over here. Your dad said you need to have a camera to where uh, we can watch the food that you're cooking. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That's yeah. all going to be in the edit. You need a top. You need to get actually. Let's move that one right here. Oh, you need to just you get a little footage. Yeah, we just yeah. learned just learning how to do well, this, this now. This is good for the, your edit, babe. We need to keep that where it's at. Yeah. And then let's bring that live over here. Fans versus favorites. Me and me and uh, Brandon. Honestly. I wouldn't, I mean, again. What if it was that one? Where do you want? People, people, uh, right here is fine. Maybe we could, we could just probably. What if it was fan versus favorites? Would you play then? Or would your dad? Would you play with your dad? It would be pointless to play with my dad because no one knows my dad in Survivor except for that visit. So yeah, but they would, if, they I, would. if I had to do it all over again, I would invite you to the 
to the family visit. So that could have pushed us a little bit more at that time. Yeah. If I was thinking right, because I really wasn't thinking right. Like, I, I watched your video on uh, defending me, really, about how I played survival. It was really cool. Thanks, by the way. I watched that video, and I was going, man, he's right. I was a kid. I was I, no, 19 he was, years he was old, a dude. baby. 10 years ago, Russell. 10 years ago, I played survival for the first time. That's insane. It, 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 they had... Uh... You can't judge somebody based off of their child... They're, they're as a kid, you know, you're 19, you don't know nothing. Just, just imagine at 28, I still don't know nothing. Just imagine if you played when you were 30, you know, everything would be different. It would be your, your mindset your is different, yeah, your focus is different. The, and, the reason you're winning, the reason you want to win is different. Everything is different. Look at this, look at this, Russell. Look at how beautiful somebody that donated is. a dollar. Look Let's see that. who it was. Dollar 99. Look at that, man. Who do you think will win Survivor 40? That's gorgeous. That's that's a good one right there. Yeah, who do you win? Who do you think is going to win Survivor 40? I, I don't care. Um, Go check out my YouTube right down there. And uh, it shows who and, I think. And honestly, at this point, uh, for me, Survivor is kind of a joke. Because the characters you want to see, you don't get to see. The characters that make Survivor and make this the, it, it a fun game to watch... Our, our characters like me, my uncle, it, it, regardless of what you say, you watch... Homemade barbecue sauce. Even hating us is, is, is good. Or hating me, for that matter. It's a good thing. It's entertaining. Who wants, to, who wants to like everything? You watch TV because it's controversial. So we need to base the ribs. Yep. You got footage? You can now get footage of the ribs. Yeah. Uh, maybe put it back in there. So we want to... I got a live camera right here, so I'm gonna show them here. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Check this out, guys. So you got the roof. And just put, put all the sauce on it. Okay. Turn it up. So what we're gonna do. Go ahead and turn that off for me, Russell. So what we're gonna do is just kind of first glaze it like this. Look at that. I love to see that right there, boy. It's a little thin. Yeah, just just put it on it and then turn it around. We're basing it twice, so let's not use it all. Oh no, we got plenty. This is on the thinner side, but that's okay. Just let it get on there for a second. And then at the end, what we're gonna do is let it dry like that in just regular temperature. Is let it dry. That's what makes your caramel okay. looking we'll glaze. Turn it around. How are we gonna do that? These tongs right here, bro. You're gonna just it's gonna fall apart. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 it smells good. Man, the we, top so of that. Do you want to do anything else with seasoning, or is it just good? No, it's good. It's good. Oh, that's gonna season that big time. Oh yeah, and then we ain't even done. This is it right here. Okay, let it sit in the, sit in the crevice and put it back in. Let me just give it around, give it a nice little swirl. Guys, you're, if you're seeing this, this is just so good. Uh, A and E and all these big networks, you need to pick this up. Honestly, we're all grown now. We had our, we had some doozies. We had some we doozies. We had some doozies. We are our changed people. We're grown now. We're grown now. Doug, Doug Dynasty. We're, ain't got nothing on us. Ain't got nothing on us. You know, mad respect to my boys with a beard. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, but let's put, put these suckers put back, back here and show there. everybody. Show everybody what we got. Look at that, guys. Russell's famous ribs. And Brandon's, or Lil Hans, excuse me, my name is Lil Hans. Lil Hans's mashed potatoes. Go for it. Just put a broil this time. Just, that, that's fine. Yeah. It's, been, it's been on for a while. So let's check these suckers. Let me show you guys how to check some potatoes. These may completely be still raw. But the way you check a potato, you can put your fork through it. It's pretty good. These are all raw. They're good? They're raw. They ain't good. <laughs> ain't good. Potatoes on right. <laughs> we got so anybody in here? Potatoes are right. Exactly. I got. Uh, I'm starting a podcast and uh, two dollars. Brandon, it's a question for you. What's up? If you could do anything different on uh, caramel, different would you? Caramel was the one I flipped out, right? I have no clue. Uh, yes. Fans' first favorite was Caramon. Okay. Yeah, South Pacific was my first. Yeah, Caramon. If I could do anything different, it would be uh, go with the do it more discreetly. Like back in, I wanted to do stuff with a bang. 
but it makes a bigger impact on Survivor when you can do things for long term. Like you did little things here and there that built up to this big persona. Yeah. If well, I my could first go back, time playing season nineteen, everything I was doing, I was it, I was gonna do before I went. I had in my mind, okay, I'm a, I'm pouring out their water canteens, I'm mm. burning their socks. Strategically, I'm, it wasn't yeah, so. And, yeah, and then I, I want to make them suffer yeah. so they can be easier to control. But the uh, I started doing everything the first day, and I'm mm. like. I'm doing too much at one time. Nobody's gonna. I ain't gonna have no more good stuff to do later. It's a my defense, so as you said. Down. I went to Despina. We both know her. Despina. And you I know said, they fired her. I, well, I'm sure everybody's gone. I know Caitlin's still working. Uh, Despina. That's ridiculous. They, Despina. I went up to her. We didn't get along at first, and I, you know, because you know, I wanted to be all. You, just seeing Despina was cool, man. What did she cool. say? Uh, she was like, yeah, yeah, no, definitely. You know, they they coach and they, they not coach no, they, by any means. They don't coach you how to do it, but the, they, 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 you can feel it. If I want you to do something, so you're going to say things Make it to, clear before the, before the rice and beans pour out, I told them he I asked for permission or told production exactly what was about to happen. I actually happen. walked up to two cameramen. I said, hey, I'm about to do it. And they went, boom. I walked up to so, but they knew when immediately. You, they knew what you met like, when but you Philip said, had no it. idea what was going on. He had just been talking smack for a week. Yeah. So I walked up. I don't think it was two weeks. Almost I wonder what they days. did to him after I said, that. hey, come on, let's go. Let's I wonder go. if they gave him more rice and beans after. They did. They, oh, gave they him, did? They re resupplied the rice and beans. That's not right. It's part of the game. They resupplied the rice. I was actually with a really uh, candy-ass team. I had a really candy-ass team. What was your name? What would, what would Philip name you? Man, the Conqueror. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Philip literally Conqueror. walked up to me on the island, bro. I, I don't understand why he didn't kick off. He would t he would insinuate him beating me up on the island, and I'm sitting there like, please beat me up. Oh, please he would insinuate it. Well, yeah, he said when I was uh when I was in the special forces, I would jump down on people like you. I'm like what? I was like okay, yeah, man. I walked up to Philip. Didn't show none of that. Because I I told him to shut the f up. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to my little boys up. Yeah. I told him to shut the f up, and I said, uh, Philip, shut the f up. In mm -hmm. front of Brenda, because he was talking, making Brenda cry. Yeah. Brenda could vouch for me on this. While you're opening boxes on your little TV show now, you can vouch for me and say, uh, hey, we got another he question you... here. Okay. Uh. I've gotten tips from Sandra and Fishback. I like Fishback. Could you help, and Sandra, could you help me get on Survivor? No. <laughs> I can't help me get on Survivor. I'm not going to help <laughs> you get on Survivor. I, it's I'm not, sorry so, if I'm not I mean, paying enough attention to my fans over here or friends or family. Uh, let me read some dad comments. Dad says, uh, yeah, read your comments from your people. Okay. Oh. So, nobody. Nobody is asking questions. You got a lot more interactive fans, bud. I think it's because in general I don't talk to mine, so it's kind of working against me at this point. <laughs> is it, you think so, too? Did y'all like, watch Brandon's he's video? He's always talking to his... Go check out Brandon's <laughs> video. His cooking, he's got a cooking video. He's gonna start cooking things and having guests. It's cooking with little hands. I'll probably have Russell quite, quite a few times on it. We have a bunch of different What meals. is it? What is that? And he could actually co-host um, some of the celebrities he decides to bring in to the show. So there's an incentive for you. Yeah, you Ty, more, more Ty, Ty, you still a moderator? So. When it, you need to delete anybody that says anything. Inappropriate. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Please do. I'm tired of seeing the same people do that. No, I, you can say anything appropriate about me. But when it comes to kids, well, they, they members, talk about yeah, my know, daughters know, know. all the time on this. We, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Guys, it's not cool. It's not. You don't get cool points for talking no. about people that aren't involved in the situation. You know, that's. Somebody that's, came in and looked yeah, at their know, name. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just idiots. It's, Sick, bro. You got issues, man. You got issues. <laughs> and and, and that's now. yeah, whatever. We're not even gonna give him that. Give him that. Uh, whatever. But whatever floats your boat. Everybody can be mean. Continue beating your meat to anime, bro. Y'all can be mean. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what, what? What is that? They He's got, got a, her making faces. They got a thing on TikTok with anime. No, that's TikTok. Stress. TikTok. So okay. So. Ask questions, guys. Russell's fans, uh, family, friends. A lot of them are your fans, too, though. Uh, I, t t 
tell it like it is. Q and A, there we go. Q and A. Yes. So, if you could fight any Survivor players, who would you fight, Brandon and Russell? Oh God. Hey, can I answer these questions with all my heart, baby? Uh, if I could fight anybody, I, and this is it, not because we're gonna me, go. We, for, let's make a. Let's no, make I, a, I'm, fr I'm yeah. friends with it. I'm friends with most. Most. I'm talking about like a paid fight. Like uh, you I, get in the ring, they pay you. Yes. It's it's all done right. Simhar. Yeah, everything's done Simhar. right. You get in the ring, you fight, you shake hands Simhar, before and Simhar, after. Simhar. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about fighting somebody on the street. Simhar, so Simhar, Simhar. I would say uh, for sure, because I knew he would get the most, would be Boss and Rob. Get me in the ring with Boss and Rob. I say Simhar or Simhar. Who's that? It's the guy that was a marine, real tough marine, screaming at police officers. No, you gotta have somebody that you'd want, somebody that you no, would want to beat up, though. Not beat up. I just would want to fight him because I, I, he's so big, and it would be yeah. Just but you hilarious. would want you want something that where the viewers would who would they want you to fight the most. Philip. Philip. Get a point. No, I don't enjoy. I would never enjoy. I, I fought. A long, long, long time, guys. They don't know that about you. I know, but we Here's don't another got, question I don't right like pumping my, myself up about that. Worth a try. Ha ha. You both are amazing. My question, though, is if you could get rid of my any advantages or introduce any advantages, what would they be? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. um, I would say I would get rid would of... Would you get rid of the idols? Oh, I don't know. That's kind of a cool twist, though. Yeah. Because that's, that's what you made you... That's what you made you... I would get rid of the... I, idol nullifier because all that is is a production way of making the person go yeah, yeah. Of, of 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 fixing I, the I game agree. i agree 100 percent um but for me it would probably be um oh man i don't want to say equal time uh, as an advan advantage or because that that wouldn't make sense in the game uh, my all my problems with survivor are going to be more based on editing than anything they're not going to be based on your... We got some fan questions over here. What are uh -oh. they asking you? I love that the two of you keep making fans smile. Thank you. Amazing race. That's what we need to do. If Corinne and Liza... Is Corinne and Liza... Liza how Liza. the heck in the world? Why I mean, I love Liza. I do. No, I, I, love, I love them Liza. both. She's great. She's I love been, been both, a friend but, for a long time. But we Clint, should be on. Great too. We, we have why aren't we on Amazing Race? I just don't think they think in their mind it's, that we're it's not going to fight that you somebody. Can, I mean, but we no, did. we we I've done this show is. three times and I ain't fight nobody. No, and, and same here. Did I do it? Yeah. Again? No, but but I think that's the truth. I think I think if we want to ask why production won't do us, because they think we're probably going to try and kill each other. That no. Would, that would be no, we would be tra we'd focus to the game. Exactly. We'd be we'd be focused to try to get to the next stage. We'd be tripping the other contestants. Oh, for sure. Go and and then on top of that, I think what it is too is is they know that some contestants will push and push and push and push to try to make us look nah, stupid. Would, I think so. I don't. I don't think they would. I, I really? think they'd be too scared. You all are talking about a bunch of dude. I the camera's on always rolling. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they want to start talking mess. Yeah. You're in the middle of an alley. But that, in, that's what I've in noticed China. in Survivor or, or in any games like Big Brother. The antagonizer wins. The antagonizer was Philip. The antagonizer for the other one was Chef Bob or whatever Philip his Philip would have went if, if further too. What happened? I mean, were they, were they listening to him? Like, would they... Oh, no, no, no. See, we all had a meeting, and, and Corinne and all... And did they just say, let's they, they let said, him do? That's exactly how they... They were... They, it was almost to their advantage to have him there, like Boston Rob. Uh -huh. Everybody knew the thing, and to, and he, he knew that, though. That's... I, I will give... I will give Philip credit. He knew that, and he played up to it. But I do think he has a mental problems. I do really well, believe I, that. He may. Because in his eyes, yeah. you, when you talk to him... He really believes some of this stuff because you know the difference. So when he's saying he's That's a federal good. agent, he, you believe he, he believes, believes that, like he really, truly in his heart believes he was it in the books. I mean, you can see it, his personality. Yeah. Now he is elaborate in certain ways, like the feather. He knew that was going to cause more, and he would tell you that he would yeah. have a conversation. But it was very. You think coach is the same way? I think coach is. Can you less, play with both? yes, less. They're, they're probably I think two Co legends. Co Coach definitely. You think he's Coach more is mentally legend? there? I think Coach is way more mentally you think there. He's, he's a, a coach. Legend. He's an actual coach, and he's a uh, he's a musician. So I just oh, think he's. a We fun just guy. got a twenty dollar donation, dude. Do you live? <laughs> 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 
What the heck? God, Twig, what's, what's the what question? What is going on? <laughs> Freaking donate. <laughs> Russell, I got time. Okay, I could. Oh. Russell, I got timed out by one of these crooked moderators. <laughs> I went to donate again and had to make another hey. account because they banned me. <laughs> Don't ban the people that donate. That's too crooked moderators. <laughs> You think I got crooked lottery. Yeah, I can't. Come on, Ty. That's great. Yeah, just donate. You, you got one of the crooked moderators. Yeah, but I really can't say much, man. I really wasn't good at that game, and I, I could talk all the smack I wanted. I want to now. I just I, I was in a different place in my head. I was a child, uh, and I wasn't a child. I was I was over eighteen, but I was still a baby. I couldn't drink on either. I wasn't even a legal age to drink on either season. That's that's to show you yeah. how, how immature I no, was. No, he was uh, as a person. Brandon was super young. Eighteen? You were eighteen? Were you eighteen? I just turned nineteen on the season. So he was he was tied for the youngest to ever play the game. There was one other one that played right before me. Here's the situation with, with right all after. that. Brandon was one of the youngest to ever play the game. Guy was eighteen. He's he just turned nineteen, and he has to deal with all the emotional problems that you have with following in my footsteps. You got to remember just because so that's not an easy thing. Just because the contestants didn't know that I was Brussels nephew, the producers knew and the cameraman knew. So that pressure was like, do I say it now? What do I do? Like I remember walking through the jungle and looking over at the camera and getting jumped on like, don't ever look at this camera. Don't talk to the camera. Stay focused on it. Like he mm -hmm. jumped on. Oh me. really? Yeah, dude. Oh man, when they they, they, they was, tried to do that to me once. I was, uh, I was like, yes, sir, because you know what? This was they the tried to do that to me once. We'll I, get you off this I, island. You I couldn't run, even. Run, run, run. I couldn't even. I couldn't handle it anymore. Heroes versus villains. They started talking to me like that. I I lost it In, on the island with everybody filming. I, I was like, you ain't gonna talk to me like that. Yeah, you, you, they, they got, I don't know who you think you are. They but this, got this really, like that. really, really. Hey, I wanted to ask you what you thought about this new. I, and let me tell you about this. When when I bring this up, I don't take this very yeah, lightly. Twenty dollars, man. I don't take this lightly at all, guys. But this is serious. Whenever someone calls me crazy mm -hmm. about Survivor, and then you got a guy that goes and touches on girls, mm -hmm. who's crazy? All I did was throw some rice and beans, fam. I haven't. I haven't. All I did was throw some. I no, no, no. Really I'm gonna say something because this is. That, but you you can. can. You could say. Yeah, you can. But when you vi villainize someone who didn't even use physical force on somebody, but yet you got a guy who is rubbing up on women, and then I looked like he gets kicked off. No, no, no. But listen, edited. I got edited as if I wanted to be with Michaela. Number one, that was incorrect. I never in an actual camera shot was no, looking at that. No, that was definitely Clay. edited. Because you see, so, you see. Be behind a tree, like. <laughs> and then all of you a sudden, see, you see Michaela's be, breast. Be, no, and you, then you, they you, have one scene where Michaela's bending down. And then they have Brandon. Dude. You think all that, I said was, hey, I have a family. I don't want to do anything like that. They would ask me the question. But you were just young. You didn't even I, know how to I didn't to know how to, to respond to none of that. And I was like, of course not. What do you mean? I'm this extra personality. No, that, that was all edited. That's, that that, that, that it, was for sure edited. But that, that lasted for so long to where people thought, oh my gosh, like that guy's like, he's got to hold it together. I mean, geez, I know you're growing up, but keep it in your pants, guy. And that, that was <laughs> right? never the case. No. That was never the case. So I just wanted to make that point that I got villainized and, and even if, if wrongly for that, and then a guy goes on and does it, hey, I have problems with that. I do. I do. And, and they're, supposed to, they're supposed to put people through psych tests and everything like that. Okay, we got $2 and a $2.75. What they got? What they got? What's the question? Uh, Dan is a villain, and uh, Brandon is just a goat. Z O A T S. I've never been called greatest of all time. Greatest of all time. Brandon is the king. Two dollars and seventy-five cents just to say that. <laughs> Since it's got my name on it, that'll be mine. <laughs> now, uh, so what we're gonna do is, uh, but the potatoes are done. So, guys, you can stick a fork through the potato. Stick a fork in it, and it'll smash, man. It'll smash. So, Russell, let's get the butter out. Let me go drain these while you grab the butter, and we are going to make mashed potatoes for y'all. Do not put your potatoes in the sink. Drain them. Brandon. Slowly. Oh, two dollars. 
Brandon versus Logan Paul. I would love to fight that dude. I, I said it publicly on Twitter. I don't care if he would if he would whip my butt. I love to fight. That okay, dude. Logan this is Paul. Did, you know look, Logan Paul? Yeah, I watched that. It was terrible. Okay, I saw Logan Paul. He's Guys, trying to he's trying to fight uh, uh, he, Antonio Brown. Uh, that'd be something that he could he could possibly make good. No, I think he could. He's a professional athlete. Not even yeah, he's no, the best that, of the that best. Don't, that, but that doesn't matter. Fighting is a different ball game. <clears throat> Anybody's got a puncher's chance. But the simple fact of the matter is, I, I I fought for a very long time, guys, and and um, it would be a different fight. It would almost be boring because yeah. I would just slowly, slowly beat him. That would be funny. It wouldn't be. You, they, it, I wonder if Philip would get in the ring with you for hundred grand. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't because that it's, would it's be a pride so thing. So fun. To watch. Uh, you know, I wonder if Vegas would bet on it. Oh, I mean, but that's the thing. That's how you make some money. Nobody wants to see a nobody six-year-old knows. man get beat up by a twenty-year-old kid. You're almost thirty. But uh, it's it's downhill after thirty. I just, got, I, I just, I just <laughs> it's, it's like it's not downhill. I just, I just got out of a jujitsu tournament that I won. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I won. So My dad used to do that. Enter in tournaments and never did anything. I was there for two months and then just went in there. But that that's the thing is is uh, I. I I get smashed all the time. I have a big, uh, mad respect for all actual fighters. Um, I'm not nothing special, but I will smack down. So on for the, the top donation is twenty dollars. To see, by the one that, <laughs> that said that we have crooked moderators on here. He's put forty in there. Twenty dollars by Michael, is it? I'll answer your questions for free, people. Come on, but keep. But they go so fast. That's why it's so. So, guys, easy. we're adding butter. I apologize. I got off on a little tangent. Ooh, that's like a. But we're adding. It's almost like soup. Oh, no, not yet, brother. They ain't even smashed up yet. You got one of them things? I'm trying. Let me see. He said, that's almost like soup. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got Brandon, it. I can't find your YouTube channel. Somebody, yes. Rebecca I, asked, what are the donations for? Just, 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 just for this, up. we ain't giving it to no, charity. No, no, guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Everybody likes to say, no. I'm gonna give ten percent of my winnings to charity. That's bull crap. Just say it's real. This for me. Give Listen. it to your family. That's what you need to give. You need to give the money to your family. And then she asked, "Is wait, is it butter or margarine?" Uh, it's gonna be butter. I use. I can't, can't believe, believe it's, it's not, not butter. butter. It's simple, easy. Oh, baby, you have a lot of editing to do. Jeez. I feel bad for you, mama. It's going to be a good one, though. You, you got to you show them the, the pots. There we go, guys. Oh, we got a $5 donation here. Brandon. Russell, you done made your day's work at, the, at my house here. Uh, donate 20 total. Donate 20 total, they said. Love you both. I've always wanted to... Uh-oh, disappear. Poor guys, man. I feel bad. wanted to man. start jujitsu. Oh, no, no, but, I, I by no I means am a good, don't kickbox. good at jiu-jitsu. You don't have to kickbox I, I'm a white belt in jiu-jitsu, which is your, pretty gotta, much your first year. I got to go, but You're Brandon, be a white belt. the money is for you, not Russell. <laughs> so I owe you 20 bucks. <laughs> no, 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 he's keeping all my, I don't need, I don't need 20 bucks, but thank Here's you. Here's another $5 donation. Um, Russell, I'm keeping all of it. <laughs> it's good. It's I'm cool kidding. hearing. I don't, I'm uh, good. About behind the scenes, stuff. guys. We're peppering this mashed potatoes. Brandon, can you tell me any behind the scenes stuff? This he said it's good to hear behind the scenes uh, stuff. Behind the scenes much, stuff, honestly. Uh, how much control? There's a lot of rule the breaking scenes. that goes on, but if you're a good oh, character, you can get away with it. That's it. That's simple. If, if you do, you ever notice that production is trying to sway you a certain way? Oh yeah, when they ask questions, I can ask you a question yeah. and get an answer, and then it has nothing to do with what you do. Right. It's just. Hey, I just asked the question. Oh, he must have been talking about that. No, I just got to ask the question. What do you think about uh, Philip? Well, I don't have an opinion what on Philip. What do you think about Philip? Oh, but Phillip? don't you think he's a little bit weird? Yeah. What do oh, you think yeah, about? I agree. He's weird. And then you got me going, that dude's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and then the they guy say sucks. Stuff, they say, what do you think about Philip naming y'all like puppets? Yeah, no, and then no I like, didn't like that at all. No, but I don't like being so, bullied. So, you know, if I, I... I've been bullied. I got bullied in so school. if I played with Philip and he named me... You would I, take it. I'd take it. You would take it. I I'd know you. You'd be like... Oh, thank you, man. Thank I got you. the name. I king got his name. Why? But Can you put a king we before that? wasting our breath talking about that old man. <laughs> that dude's got to be 100 right now. Something. I don't really play again, though. 
He'd play again in a second. He would do anything. He's working at J.C. Penney's as a sales rep right now. You think? Yeah, yeah that's, somebody told me they, they caught him at J.C. Penney's uh, after he told Potatoes. everybody he wrote a famous book or whatever. You got to salt the mug, Bubba. Oh, yeah, that is salt. Kelly said what's cooking. We got mashed potatoes right now. We got the guys. This stuff takes a long time. Normally, I would have it sped up, uh, but you're seeing it in real time. So this is you're actually cooking with us. So uh, my wife's gonna have an edited version. Okay, we so got a. Uh, you guys can watch it on our YouTube. Another channel. two dollars and seventy five cents. By Russell, Michael what you're again. gonna have to do is share my video on your Facebook. And Will say, Russell or, or Brandon ever play again? I probably, I'm probably gonna play again. Russell will play again. Me, on the other hand, I'd have a long discussion with that beautiful lady over there. Because I don't think I can be away from... He's hooked up to his mom's card. He must be from uh, Australia. Spend your mom's money. Hey, Russell, taste this so I can, you can tell me what... Uh, I think we might need some more, more butter. Salt. What you were talking about, they were like water. Now I Thank told you. you to take it easy, brother. How they good? Mm-hmm. Need more butter. More butter? We're just going to go ahead and use Yes. That. Yeah. Yes. Mom's, You're beautiful, mom's credit card. By the way, guys, uh, we couldn't do any of this Brandon's without, married without my wife. She's with a, with a baby. Well, she's a baby. great. Oh, no, he's he's amazing. amazing as well. $2.99 from Chris Roberts. Love you, Russell. Robbed three times. No, I was robbed twice. Yeah, he lost that last one. No, yeah, he played one four I, times. I had though. fun the last one. Though. Oh, tell us about Australian Survivor, man. <laughs> How did the Mozzies like you, mate? They hated Trump. So because of that, they hated me. Ah, they made it a complete po political thing. Bull crap. At Tribal Council, they wow. said, we none of us like Americans anyway. I was like, well, is this about me? Wow, or can y'all Can y'all play? You want to play the game? I've said some questions. They had a stuff. toilet. A toilet. A real toilet on the island with a big old hole in it. Shut up. They had toilet paper. You got fruit every day. You got uh, you got uh, unlimited supplies of yeah, rice and beans. It, it's not survival. No, you you go in this little thing. You can poop and you, you, it's privacy and nah. put I, all your. Let me tell you where I pooped. I I, I, I pooped <laughs> where the fishes would eat the poop as it was coming out my mm -hmm. butthole. Do you remember? I that? tried that once, and then when it I tried was, to so I tried awkward. to poop in the river once. And then when I when I started running from it, it started following me. I, I'm country. So that was the last I'm, time I'm I did that. I'm sometimes. like, whoa! I'm country sometimes. I was looking behind me, and it was so, like touching me on the shoulder. The boys be having landmines when you gotta go. You gotta go. I have. I hear. <laughs> did you? I gotta tell them the story. Oh. Here's the story. So you go in the transit van, to, it's all blacked out. You stink like crap. Oh, everybody stinks. Oh my God, you can smell everything. But after a while, you can't smell stuff, so the camera crew can, though. They're like, can y'all shower, man? Just go in the ocean. Get in the ocean. So I'm in my first season, and coconuts, I didn't realize, were a natural laxative. So I'm in the transit bus, and I thought I needed a fart. Well, as oh. you know, <laughs> the fart was I the shit my pants. <laughs> no, you didn't. I shit my pants all no. the way down my leg. And I'm sitting there like, no, standing still like, didn't. if I don't move, it's not going to come up in the air. So I'm sitting next to uh, Sophie, Coach, and... <laughs> so uh, you shit on Coach? No, so <laughs> all I hear is, who shit? <laughs> I said, yeah, who shit? So years. did it drain? Did it, to did this it... day, people were just finding out I was the one who shit in the bus. <laughs> I shit all over the place. And I'm like, I shit. And then I get to the, everybody was like, thought it was odd that I ran to the bushes as soon as I took my underwear. You don't get the underwear. Yeah, you and this. I ch chunked them hoes in the water, put them in my pocket. I had shit underwear in my pocket. And my little, <laughs> thank God for my swimming trunks, dude. Oh my gosh, it was so gross. I felt so bad. Did it, but did it, was it like drippy? It was sweat? right here, in my, and it just stuck. Like <laughs> coconut juice. It was bad. <laughs> oh, so, I hope y'all enjoy your food, by the way, that you cook. But, so it wasn't a fart? Oh no, man, it was so bad. And after that, I was just like, I'm getting voted out. <laughs> so who <laughs> said, who said who shit? Coach. <laughs> who I'm going to tell Coach. Next, I'm yeah. like, Dude, he podcast. still to this day probably doesn't know that I'm the one who pooped in the van. <laughs> <He's>... 
<laughs> he said, <"Who's laughs> yeah, bitch? it was nasty. Oh, I remember the exact spot I could take you to it. It was so embarrassing to me. Oh, anyways, how are those looking, Russell? They're looking good. They're looking real good. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. All this so shit. So Rebecca wants to know, have you guys ever traveled to do some meet and greets? Yes, but I hate them. I absolutely hate them. I, I actually, the reason I hate them because I pro I got so drunk and I don't. I've been sober for over a year now, and I got so drunk. I I said so many inappropriate things. I remember one of these. I, I just I just was dumb. I just wanted to. I had a little rough patch there with just personal life, and I, all I did was just drink, 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 and party and. Do cocaine with Ozzy and everything else. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, Ozzy. We were in Vegas just snorting lines of cocaine together. Yeah, that was, uh, I was there, but I didn't do that. Oh, yeah, you were there. Yeah, it's just terrible. Terrible, 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 terrible. You could say they're good memories, but they're terrible memories for me. But You don't have any good things about Survivor, though? The opportunities, uh... The opportunity to be out in the out of the country. Yeah. I love out of the country. Like I, I just got back. Oh, from, that's fun. So I say just got go back. On a cruise. I went to Peru, and it just felt like I was at home, cause just being in that cultural places, you get a little homesick you sometimes. Go on a cruise with me and the uh, girls. I'm out. In August. What's the tickets look like? They're just like five hundred bucks for oh. less than that, for two. Oh, I mean, five, probably a thousand dollars for both hey, y'all. We got the you can get. You don't have to get a balcony. Why you can not? go inside room, and it's super fun. We want Especially the, we would want the biggest inside room, room, man. Have no window. Well, no right. window. But I like when we they have. You might get a little seasick. What do you think, baby? Me, baby. Well, I, I lived on. I lived on the water. boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 That's all I did boat. was work on the water. I just said something about the inside room. No, they're just being small. I don't want to feel like I'm on a tugboat and on a cruise. No, it's the. You can either get the balcony room. Dad said they were rooms. small, and I just feel like I'm waking up on a shift. Well, you should, yeah, you wake up, you go. You, you don't do nothing in the room anyway. You, you do all the shows, and then yeah. you do... The, I wouldn't want to go to Mexico. It just, I have no it's desire. fine, though, man. Costa Mel and all I that. I love thing. it. Really? I love it. I've been three times in a year. That. that goes hard. It's hard. Yeah, boy. All right. Good texture, good everything. All, all right. right. That's what we, we got talking that about. Going on. Got that going on. I'm not donating money. <laughs> <laughs> Why they asked you to, bro? You don't have to donate money. Don't feel bad. Ask questions. We'll answer questions. He said, because I'm evil. All right. We answer anybody's questions. Except it's just easier to see when somebody, if they put a dollar it, it, <laughs> or whatever, it lights up. If you... That was good. That was a good way to do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can see your questions better if you miss in money. No, uh, are you still an Astro fan? I don't know, man. They cheated. Straight up cheated. I'm not. I haven't been a big baseball fan for a long time. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm a uh, UFC is kind of taking over sports. Uh, to me, at least, football is even getting kind of pacified. So I really don't care about football too much either. We got we got crooked moderators on this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they pocket in every bit. It's just direct deposits in their right. account. <laughs> oh, so uh, you new people go follow Brandon. Check in your check in your less than thirty eight or less than forty minutes. You've made sixty seven dollars. I would be on this all day, going, "Hey, deposits money into the account." <laughs> I could just be sitting there. <laughs> he just. Mm -hmm. But we we we. Hey, by the way, Russell, I want to clear this up because I'm not like this towards fans. I had a fan. We were on a trip. I had a fan said. Uh, hey, oh, did you get a tattoo? Who's your favorite Survivor, uh, Survivor Big Brother player? Who's your favorite Survivor Big Brandon, Brother? Brandon, you got something on your face? Oh, I got something on your face. What's Survivor Big Brother player? Oh, somebody's playing joke Who, on me. Who's your favorite Survivor Do Big Brother? Oh, Survivor and Big Brother player. They're, they're tattoos. I don't really have a favorite. Favorite Survivor, Kim Spaulding. Favorite Big Brother, uh, Evil Dick. Favorite Survivor, Brandon Hans. And then... <laughs> No, uh, I mean, Russell and Willie, that's all I really watched other than when I was a kid. They're, they were just family. So, uh, what was you saying? Tell me a story. Yeah, uh, I had a fan that uh, started posting because I was talking to a little chat group. They were like, hey, thanks for watching this org or whatever. 
He said, man, I'll send you $1,000 to get a tattoo of our orbs. Oh, yeah. Tell that story. I don't know and, if any of these people know that story. This kind of makes me mad, man. I, and I, I was like, yeah, right. Do it right now. I'll, I'll do it. And I was on a trip. And he sent it. He sent $1,000. He sent $1,000. $1,000. So I was like, heck yeah. Everybody pick a design. I was going to get the tattoo. So we were moving into our tattoo shop, our mm -hmm. building. And uh, it took a couple days. A week goes by. And I'm like, guys, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. And then he finally says, mate. Don't worry about it. Just do me something better. Send my girlfriend a picture of a picture of, of you sign. No, <laughs> a, a picture. Do, of, do me one said, better. Send me a picture. Send me send some something signed. So I, I I had my wife print out all this cool stuff. Made this giant thing because I was okay. like, I'm not gonna send him a picture. I want to send him more than a picture. All right. And. Uh, I signed it. I wrote notes. I was it, the glass. It was in glass. It was really cool, and uh, a bunch of pictures, not just one, but a bunch of pictures on there. And I was trying to be funny and nice at the same time. So I sent it. And I sent it to Canada, not even where he was from. He sent an address to his girlfriend. Mm. So his girlfriend gets it, and I guess in transit, it broke the glass. But all the pictures were still there. Everything was good. The glass. So you, was you see in one transit. in a glass? Yeah, a nice glass, oh, tall. Okay. Like yeah. I did it real cool. And we put multiple pictures in there signed by me and different. It's just yeah. really pretty. Yeah. And um, uh, he was like, dude, thank you so much. She loves it. They broke up. They broke up. I Guess who that. calls me back six months later? Oh, he. Hey, mate, drunk. Give me my money back. I'm like, what are you talking about giving me your money back? Hey, man, you gypped me. That picture broke. I'm like, bro, hold them ups. Hold them ups. So I started screenshotting them, sending them all the messages, all thank you, bro, for doing that so much. I appreciate you going out of your way. I'm like, dude, you sent $1,000. Of course I'm going to go out of my way. Long story short, uh, he ended up making some threats and threatening to come over to the house. Wait, no, he didn't. So, yeah, we screenshotted all of his things. I said, look, I tell you what, yeah. you come to here to the United States with threats. And he, he said he's going to throw rocks through our shop window. I said, I'm just going to, I'm going to kill you before you can get close to me and my family. I said, because we don't deal with that kind of threats. He started threatening my kids. He started tell, uh, threatening my wife. He started threatening everybody. So I just told him, I was like, we'll, we'll just kill you when you get here if you decide to do something dumb like that. And that's it. Uh, it was a guy from another country. He, he was really, really vocal with his threats. And I guess they don't understand that you can't talk like that here. You can't make, you can't make threats bodily harm to a family member, uh, especially my wife. Uh, especially uh, my kids, you can't make those kind of threats because any good man in their family would do the same thing to protect their family. Can I put this on this? Simple. Right here? Right here? Yeah, go for it. Let's get back to it. That was depressing. You want to uh, put the camera Please. on it? Yes, 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 yes. All right, guys, uh, let me let me pick this up. Make this easy for everybody. And then it's kind of... Are you going to cut it up for everyone? I'm just going to cut the... He says, I so Russell's cutting up the super, ribs. Super tender. Oh, dude, that's going to be insane. You want to throw another base on there and let it dry? Uh, or is it we can when we cut it. We'll put some on the, the this like this part. You want to get the camera on it? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is going to be a little different. We're going to take this around. Come down. There you go. Oh, super tender. Uh, there you go, guys. See the, who didn't even couldn't even get the. Can't, I can't even pick it up. Like, the guys, thumbs up if you like what you see. We got little hands mashed potatoes homemade. You got Russell's ridiculous ribs coming at you live on Facebook. You can't get this anywhere else in America. Only here at the house. Okay. Looks pretty dang good. I'm actually. popping y'all up. I'm trying to do my best, guys. Actually, I'll just carry this around for a few moments. Hey, baby. Try it out, Bubba. Now, that's what you need to do. Mm. Now, give it a whirl. Try it. All right. <laughs> mm, that's good. That barbecue sauce is mm -hmm. so sweet. It's good. Tastes like real barbecue sauce. Boo! You need to try this. You're gonna freak out. Come on over here. This is my wife, guys. We did I, good. I married up, to say the least. She is so beautiful and precious. Thank you. And my best friend in the whole Ribs. world. Ribs. 
Oh, somebody donated. Who's your favorite you Amazing Race? Fight. I don't really watch Amazing Race. My favorite now would be Corinne and Eliza. Wow. That's good. That's good. Good stuff. When good stuff, is guys. your blue team video He's coming out in two days? We got a tripod. Two days. Good try, though. She said, I guess with all those donations, you can get a tripod. Mm. I said, we got one. Yeah, man. Dude, we, we cooked That's a good. meal to eat. This thing ain't no joke, bro. Mm. Thank you guys so much. We'll take a few more questions before we shut it down. And we can start eating. Um, let me make my wife a plate so I can show you guys what it looks like plated. It's Fire very China. good. Very, very good. Guys, this recipe will be on my channel at uh, Cooking with Lil Hans. Please go find the channel, like, subscribe, so that every time we do this, it'll be with a different celebrity guest. Every time, guys. Who, who, what guests you got coming? Uh, I have some American Idols that uh, could possibly be coming, and also other Survivor contestants as well. So we, obviously, we've had the opportunity to meet different people, different TV shows over the years that become somewhat acquaintances and close friends, if you want to call them that. And, and they're always happy to get on and uh, be on TV once again. So I think you should do it. One with your mom, one with your dad, one with grandma, with uh, Papa. me mom, one with Papa. Papa would have to make it too fake. He would just have a to. A boot in. Ooh, a whole process. Yeah. Smoking and everything. He, he grinds it, he, all that, the whole thing. Guys, before we take off, last question. Got another set, $1.50. There you go. I dislike your video, P.S. I'm not Philip Shepard. He dislikes my video? <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, I don't care. He dislikes the videos. Yes, he's not Philip Shepard. I don't. I don't care. Where's buddy. the plates? Right there, man. Oh, this is good. Oh, dude, I like it like this. <laughs> yeah, I told you. <laughs> this is how we cook in this house, my friend. Uh, Russell's gonna uh, share a link uh, on our YouTube uh, of our YouTube channel. On his Facebook, he'll share it on Twitter and Instagram as well, or whatever social media. Go follow him have. at, uh, we got $5 here. We have to stay home and keep getting this money. Russell, who are your final five? I have, uh, it's coming. Go watch my videos. Uh, another dollar ninety nine. Guys, if you're my Facebook friends, uh, Russell uh, has a podcast called Russell Hans. Go be his patron. Shout out to Jill birthday. Follow me on on uh, anything, and I'll follow you back for your birthday. Jill Odom. And is that uh, what you do? You got to follow people back in order. To sometimes I do. So uh, my favorite fi final five. Just go check out the videos. I got another one uh, coming down in uh, in two days. Oh, this is amazing, Russell. This, this is pretty good stuff here, Dude. guys. And now you know how to make a good barbecue sauce. I don't it, even like ketchup. It complements your, your meal. Like We've done this barbecue good. sauce quite a few times now, but never the way you make your ribs, though. And it actually it makes it better. Wow. It's pretty good. If you would like any item clothing sign that was wore today, Feel free to send us $500 and we'll send you this t-shirt we're wearing. <laughs> Surprisingly, they, people have already done that. I'm just saying, I sold my boots. Somebody's wearing my boots. Somebody's wearing I think my I sold my underwear before. <laughs> I did. From Maybe season I'm, 19 Survivor. Maybe I made you a plate. Where's it at? Huh? Oh, it's right here. Russell, would you... Would, oh, here. You got a drink? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Pepper's and... Uh, Cherry Cokes in there. Here you go, Mommy. Let me come get it to you. Cokes. Birthday cakes. No, y'all need to come to uh, the cruise. August cruise, me and Hannah and uh, whoever else. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it see where we're at because we've got to remember we're building a house. The girls are fun. We're building a house on uh, 55 acres. Is this house sold yet? I thought it was, this house was sold already. It is, uh, it's like a little bit more going on right now. We had another one come by today. A guy from C 
California. Mm-hmm. He's wanting to buy a plant and, and put his workers here to the plant. Mm. Who wants to lease it out to a plant worker? We got some things going. Businessman. Yeah, we. Yeah. Businessman. That's funny, man. All this area, because I live right next to a plant. Mm-hmm. Most of them are plant people. Most of this whole area is just plant people. It's quiet. Dude, this is fantastic. Get more. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's pretty dang good. Dude, our, right now I'm telling you, our family would be freaking. This is a whole different... Guys, this is a completely different swing to Russell's normal ribs. Oh, look. They don't taste the same. They don't look the same. This is a good change. It's a good change. I like his original ribs, but my God. This is pretty dang good. Mm. I like that sweet sauce. Look at the bone right there. That sweet sauce is good, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know Boo and Willie are going to be... So we'll probably have a special guest. Our next special guest is going to be really cool. What's Willie going to cook? I don't know. It'd probably be him like a pistolet or something he, he does on a regular basis. Yeah. Some Cajun some pistol. Fried bag, shrimp. Fried shrimp. We'll do something that what do you guys want us to cook? I mean that's a good question. You know, what of our what our viewers want what to see? What Cajun dish would you like to see cooked? Because really that's uh, our forte. Jill says she donated a dollar nine ninety nine and says, Can I pay for a date with Russell? Sure. More a dollar ninety nine could cost you a little bit more than that. Five dollars ninety nine. <laughs> Sure you can. You can pay for a date with someone else. Come on. For Russell. I'm single. <laughs> I'm single, ready to mingle. Hey, tell us about that. What, what, what got you what got you single? How long have you been single? I don't know. I've been single a while. This ain't been really looking too much. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing nothing. Chilling. I ain't going on social media, talking to people, DMing people. I ain't doing none of that. Man, that's got to be tiring. How, how was that, that whole part of your life? Mm-hmm. You had people throwing their stuff out. You I heard a couple you. that I liked. A couple of them that I really liked. Yeah. But always changes. Life changes. R.I.P. Some people, see, I don't need to be in a relationship. Some people have to be in a relationship. I hear you. That's not me, for sure. I don't think that's Willie either. No, that nigga ain't been in a relationship I'm not sure. since Moses and... And Aaron walked this earth back in Exodus. Oh, somebody donated seven dollars. Let's see some crawfish. Well, he could do crawfish. Oh, that's good. He's good crawfish. He's good. He could cook good crawfish. Well, well, we would love to, guys. But because there's a secret. We're, we're gonna stick to. We're gonna stick to there's inside meals. Way you gotta do crawfish. When you're when you're filming like this, it's really hard to get good quality whenever it's not in a controlled environment like this. So that's probably gonna stop us from doing something like that. But it'll be good regardless. I promise. Man, dude. My bad, huh? We're gonna eat them all. A whole rack of ribs right now. Right now. All these Asmar loving people are straight getting goosebumps watching us eat all these ribs like this. I tried it one time with some hot Cheetos and it didn't work out. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Dog 99. Nice. Apparently, Bart Simpson got expelled. Did you know that? Expelled? I don't understand. I don't know. What he spilled? Oh, is that what he's on? Well, he mm -hmm. got kicked off talking to Max or something. What? I don't know what's going on. This is good. There's another one. A whole rack of ribs, folks. You know these ribs cost me ten bucks. At the uh food town. That's not bad. They weren't too fatty. That either. feeds that feeds a whole f no, these are you see fatty. the fat? You these aren't fatty at all. There was no fat. But I think it's best to get those if you can do it in the oven. The like reason this. I didn't want to get babies is because the meat was just so, there was this much mm -hmm. meat. It wasn't nothing. I was like, man, we, we ain't going to enjoy that. 
This will feed three people, obviously. Mm-hmm. Probably four. Uh, it'd be a good date night meal. You know, some, some maybe your, your loved one want to lay on the couch with you. Because this is going to make you want to go to bed. Oh, yeah. This is ridiculous. This sauce you can just put on the mashed potatoes and eat. Sauce. The thickness... Yeah, this family grew up, man, we all grew up kind of knowing how to cook right right off the bat. But what do you, what do you think about the Kobe Bryant thing? Man, that's that's terrible, that crazy? terrible, bro. You know, that came out that he, uh... His, uh, his daughter. Dude, the, the the people that found him, the police, said mm -hmm. that when they found his, their dead bodies, mm -hmm. he was holding the baby. Mm, I bet he was. Oh, dude, praying. They just got back from Catholic Church yeah. mass. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't worried about where his soul is because when you're in a situation like that, you cry out to you God. Know you, you know he was holding her. You know you cry out to God, man. That's that's what makes it so sad to me that it hurts. She yeah. was involved. I mean, I've been sad either way, but it's almost historically sad. I mean, it's it's like when have you seen people it hurts, man. lose it like that, like. I've been watching ESPN and all these pages, like Jimmy Fallon broke down on national television. Uh, Ellen broke down. The Grammys, uh, uh, they could hardly see. I think it's the details, man. The details really messed it up. The last time you know we heard so, we've never heard nothing in the depth in our lifetime. This is Martin Luther King type stuff. Yeah. This is... John F. Kennedy type stuff. I'm fame wise, not, yeah, not right. to say that what they did was as much as important. No, I'm just as saying. Other, but they the, impacted the that many heart, people. The yeah, the heartbreak. Yeah, is it goes deep, super deep. But you remember how it was with Michael Jackson and all that? That's how they. Felt. I was on Survivor when he died. Everybody felt that way. Really? That too. You know, it was that drastic. I remember vigils that bought hundreds of thousands with mm -hmm. hold candles in the streets, like. Important people got to die just like regular people got to yeah. die. That is a fact. But because he impacted so many people, you know. That I was on know. Survivor when he died. When I got off the plane, Boo said, guess who died? I'm like, who? He's like, that was he said, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson. Whitney Houston daughter. Uh, that boxer, uh, Steve McNair or whoever. Like he, he, was named, he named like five people. I'm like, what? Yeah, people, Superstar. Put, people put death to the back of their mind as if it's never coming. And I think this brings people back down to earth. Mm -hmm. You are going to pass away someday. And hopefully you're right with, with Jesus. And my, my personal belief, hopefully you're right with Jesus. That's what I believe. We got $24.99 donated. Uh, Cobra Bryant will be missed. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. B.B. Anderson. He will. He will, man. Um... And then, uh, you never expect that. Yeah, everybody in that plane will be missed, man. He will be missed. It's it's crazy that, uh, no, what made me mad, I wanted to it's voice just, this it's opinion. Just crazy when TMZ reported that before the, the families knew about it. That's that's that is disrespectful. That's disrespectful. Oh, yeah, and TMZ's a bunch of trash, trash, bro. To make money, they exploited somebody's feelings. That lady could have killed herself. Those people are dealing with some serious stuff. Trash. But guess what? They they made their money. They're the first people to say it. Congratulations. Yeah, how you feel Good, now? How do you feel about that? Now They're everybody excited. hates you. Everybody hates you that, that liked him. Don't respect you and they, they see who you are. So, well, so do people sleep around on Survivor? I mean, it's pretty nasty out there. Pretty dirty. I know... I know a couple. You you knew some people that messed with. Oh, the married the married girl. Oh, stop stop stop. <laughs> the stop, married stop, girl stop. did. She was married. Stop it. Production knew it. That's sad. then that was then sad. they promoted her going on Amazing Race. Well, the problem. Oh no, I can't. Whitney Duncan. Bam. Russell. Bam. I ain't say nothing to you like that. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, the world knows it. They showed them playing. All 56 game. people on our little media know it. <laughs> Take that one, bro. I'm, 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 I'm about tapped out. I just can't leave it sitting here like that. $24, that. $24 donation. That was pretty nice. Nice. We'll answer that question. Can you imagine if you were like a 
do, entertaining princes, and they were just well. Can you imagine? You see, tossing at home? you ten dollars, thousand dollar gifts. Can you stuff? imagine? Mm -mm. Sitting at home watching TV, all of a sudden it says Russell Hatch just died in a plane crash, and you find out on TV before you find out through anybody else. Russell, that's kind of harsh, huh? I, I ain't gonna lie, I've imagined it. I've imagined it. I would be devastated because I, I love you a lot. Yeah. We're family before we're anything else. Yeah. I'm... That would freak me out, bro. I would cry my eyes out. I would pray, you know what? I would pray that your heart was right with Jesus. Oh, if I'm going down, brother, you better believe it. Some people don't get that opportunity, though. It's Do you a know blessing. that instant death kind of thing people yeah. deal with all the time? Mm -hmm. Car impacts, and you, you were just cussing at your wife? That's what I'm afraid of. May God never. People ask you. What would you rather, know or not know? I'd rather know. You have to it's want a, it's to It's a know. blessing. You, the Bible talks about us having a, an end that we know, living a long life with a knowing end to it. It's a blessing yep. to know. Uh, as much as cancer patients, I hated my Esther died as a cancer patient, but she knew and yeah, it brought she, her that, closer that's to grand, God. That's his grandmother. That, that's my heart, you know? Well, she you, know, you know she was right. Now, oh, bro. 100%. You could, when people, it's weird, when people are almost going to die, it's almost they actually, you know how people go, you can't live perfect. How did, you how, can. Did you see a change in her? Oh, dude, perfection. Really? Perfection. To where you just seen her happy about everything and nothing made her mad. Yeah. The last couple of days was insane. It was just like, you're almost going... Where did she? Where was she staying? At your mom's? Hard, man. At your mom and dad's house? Her she last was a little days. everywhere, man. She was a little everywhere in North Carolina here. And, um, dude, she walked into that hospital and told him, don't wake me back up. And Esther was afraid of death. <coughs> I said, don't, don't bring me back. Did she say that told to him. you? Well, because they had to sign a piece of paper saying, if you die, can we revive you? Uh -huh. And when you say no, they let you die. I say, revive, revive the hell out of me. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah, she said. Because I believe in miracles, brother. <laughs> <laughs> revive me. Oh. We do, we do, we really do. But at the end of the day, who are we? You know, I always come to this terms like, who are we to, to ask for something like that? We can ask, you know, we can come to God with those requests, but there's kids kids dying all the time. And yeah, I was thinking the other day, I'm thinking, it's you know. so unfair that, yeah, Kobe Bryant was 41 years old. He did some negative things in his life, we all have. Oh, yeah. But it's so unfair that his daughter. And all those kids that was on that plane. It's unfair for all of them, but I'm, it just seems just not right, not fair. Like, how can God do something this it almost It feels like that. It, it, you want to ask those questions, even though we can't, you know, we, we can't comprehend but that. But that's we, the thing is we're so, uh, we're so uh, dumb, and with, with all due respect, we're so dumb and naive and just a failing creation that... He knows we're going to ask those questions. Right. He yeah, knows, he knows we're, we're, like we're only human. Yeah. So he knows that part of us, but there's parts of us like sin. Because they had, else. dude, they have this woman on the SPN. Y'all need to go check it out. I, I think I posted it on my, reposted it on my Twitter or Facebook or something. But she's like, she, she broke down and she was like, uh, he's like, that middle girl, that middle girl's a beast. She's a monster. And then she, the lady started, Crying because the middle girl's Gigi, the one that died in a plane, and Kobe was always with her, and he said she's a beast. She's she's better than I was at that age. So it's like he's so excited for his little girl growing up to play ball, and Ugh. nobody but, gets to see but, it. But the thing about this is, is can you imagine? See, people look at it <clears> on that side, but you know what I see, and it, it's hard to see it. I see a daddy that gets to die with his daughter. Yeah, I see a daddy. That's what she said. A daddy that gets to look in his same. daughter's eyes and say, "We're gonna go see Jesus today, baby, yeah. together." And if you had that opportunity, would you take it? Like, if you had an opportunity to die with every kid in the car, every. I don't want them to die. No, I, I would take. If, their, if there I was would... an option and it said either you let your kids die before you yeah. by themselves or with you, what would you do? I'd easily take it. So that's that's take, what he got I'd to take do, that man. Deal. You know, people were watching their kids die, like I said, of cancer, of all, all kinds of he stuff. He did everything with her. By themselves. I, I'm seeing video after video with them two together. They loved each other a lot. And when they were going down, they knew it. And they grabbed her. Uh, 
yeah. thinking that maybe his big body might be able to, you know, shield her from any problem. That's what I would have thought too, thinking like that. Uh, but but at the end of the day, God's good. You got to just believe that. If you believe in him, believe in him. Okay, guys. That's all we got. No more money, guys. I appreciate the dollars. Anyways, guys, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we we really, really appreciate y'all tuning in. This got a lot of editing to do. lot, baby. I'm so sorry. It's Look so at the good. ribs. Show this them. This is the aftermath <laughs> of a uh, Hans family. That was off, super honestly. good. <laughs> I need to try it. It's <laughs> super good. Actually, I'm going to give a little bowl of this to Russell on his way. This is the MVP, guys. Oh, let me show you. That is the There's MVP. There's the sauce. That's the sauce. There's the sauce. All, All right, right, guys. All right, guys. See you later. See ya.